Hey guys, Vortex TCG here, and today we've got a major update uh, and some big news for the Digimon card game. We've got a brand new mechanic, we've got new start of game rules, and we've also got some new Digimon that have been released for the new game mechanic. So let's get straight into it. Let's start off with one of the more important rule changes to the game. Uh, a lot of people have been complaining about the lack of a mulligan in Digimon uh, card game. Especially now that One Piece has a mulligan system, I'm pretty sure like other Bandai games have a mulligan system in place, but Digimon doesn't. So, um, they've added mulligan as a core mechanic into the game, which is really important because I think a lot of decks, um, you know, you need consistency. And sometimes when you look at your opening five cards, you're just like, well, I guess I can't play and then it's essentially a free win to your opponent and this has happened to me in tournaments and it happens to a lot of people um, which is why like when Mulligan gets announced for an event such as the Ultimate Cup that's coming out uh, soon um, I'm, I'm really happy for it quite frankly um, so we got the Mulligan as a core rule so let me go through these steps real quick to explain it so you shuffle your deck and your Digitama so your egg pile and your deck then you get to decide on who goes first um, I assume this is still a simple dice roll and whoever gets uh, the higher number uh, has to go first uh, but there isn't really confirmation at this time uh, they're just, they're, they're just uh, announcing the rules essentially as we go um, then at the start you get to draw your starting hand of five cards um, this is different because obviously you'd put security down first, but now you get to draw your five cards And then if you're not very happy with those five cards, you could mulligan. So what is a mulligan? So for this game uh, You return the top uh, five cards to the deck and then you shuffle and then you redraw five cards. So uh, So mulligan really helps, you know, not you bricking essentially, but it also I think this is the only like effect of which allows you to shuffle again. I thought it would be like in the vein of you just put the cards to the bottom of your deck and you draw five, but you get to shuffle. I think this is the only time you get to shuffle in a Digimon match. So um, pretty interesting. Maybe that's a little tease for what's to come with other mechanics. I don't know. But uh, then you put your five security down and then you start the game. So huge, huge change because if there's one thing that the community has been complaining about is the fact that there isn't consistency and the consistency cards well if you don't have them in your opening hand then it just becomes a dead deck essentially and yeah uh, this rule change i think is something that i'm really happy for and i think a lot of people will be too so the there is a new mechanic that is coming out with i believe the starter decks at the start um st15 and st16 um, and that mechanic is counter. Counter is a brand new game mechanic and it's not on the same level as some of our previous game mechanics such as Raid, Alliance, um, all, all those kind of things. Um, it's pretty huge and it's so huge that it's changed the rules of the game. So um, I'm going to quickly go over the uh, attacking step essentially because that is when the counter effect activates essentially so uh, the player a uh, attacks and then player a activates a when attacking effect which is pretty common and then new which is the new part uh counter so there's new timing specifically for counter and then you can now trigger player b can now trigger uh when a digimon attacks uh it will, uh, triggers a counter when a di when player B when a Digimon attacks essentially. So when player A activates an effect, you can counter. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty it's pretty interesting. And then player B's once per attack thing resolves, so all the effects of your Digimon essentially resolve. And then at the end, the blocker resolves, and then the battle commences essentially, um, either with a Digimon or security being taken out essentially, and. One of the things that this doesn't tell us uh, from the rule changes is that counter cards tend to be free. Obviously, the first couple ones are free, but maybe in the future there might be ones that are not free. And that's a little bit worrying to me because counter cards seem very powerful, if I'm being honest. And if they're free, um, 
I think it's a bit of a problem. There is a downside, uh, which I'll get into when I discuss the cards essentially, um, but a little bit a little bit worrying for me, I think. Um, and this could be applied to like tamers, option cards in the future. Um, don't know how they'd be how, how they'd work essentially, but they could be. And I don't know, I'm a little bit worried about it because it's a huge change to the rules, now adding an extra extra step. And also <laughs> you're essentially making some Digivolution lines free. It's a bit worrying for me. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about this counter mechanic. Um, Maybe after I discuss some of the new ace cards which use the counter mechanic, um, we'll be able to get a better idea. So let's get into that right now. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of reading from my phone because quite frankly, there's there's new information coming out uh, very quickly. Um, so the first ones that we actually got to see was the Metal Greymon Ace and the Zudomon Ace, which, why Zudomon? We don't know, but hey, Zudomon representation, we love that. Um, so I'm gonna read over the cards very quickly and then we're gonna discuss how the counter mechanic works, essentially. So, Digimon uh, Metal Greymon Ace, uh, it's from BT14, so we get some uh, reveals for BT14 in this as well. I thought these were all just part of the new starter deck, but clearly I'm wrong. Um, so you get to Digivolve this from a level four with Greymon in its name for free cost, so cheap Metal Greymon, which is good. Um, super rare, and from your hand, so, just to signify that you have to activate this from your hand. Counter, Blast Digi Evolution. So I assume you, your Digimon may evolve into this card without paying the memory cost. So if you have a Greymon in play and the conditions are met for a counter, you can then play the Digimon for free. And then on play when Digivolving, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 6k DP or less. So this is very similar to the current X Antibody, but obviously you can play this from your hand and activate its effects. And it's important to know that aces have a downside. So the ace on this is overflow minus three. When this card is sent from the battle area or under your card to another place, to other places, lose free memory. I don't know what they mean by or under your card. I don't know what that means. But essentially, like if it does get removed, you lose free memory. So there is a downside to ace. But for me, I don't really see it because... If you're playing these guys, you're going to get the effect of, you know, deleting the guy and then the battle is going to pretty much end, I think. So, yeah. Uh, we'll go into Zudamon Ace now. Uh, the same thing. Uh, SR, BT14, hand counter, same thing. You get to play without the reduced cost. Uh, so, there isn't a specific requirement for this, so it's just a generic level 5. On play when digivolving. Trash two Digi Evolution cards from your opponent's Digimon, then return one of your opponent's Digimon with no sources to the hand. So again, disruption, counter, obviously. Um, and then obviously it has the ace overflow effect of minus three memory. And those are the two ones that we saw straight away, but now we have level sixes because the new starter decks, uh, ST15 and ST16, feature the counter mechanic. So this is probably gonna be our first taster of the mechanics. So I'm gonna go over that very quickly as well. Um, Digivolve level five with a Greymon in its name. So Metal Greymon, there's loads of different Greymons essentially. So it costs free to go into, costs free to go into normally anyways. Um, hand counter, Blast Digivolution, it gets a play without its memory cost of course. Uh, it has blocker inherently and then all turns once per turn when a card is removed from a security stack, unsuspend this Digimon. So, kind of like the Black War Greymon X, I guess. Uh, but obviously, instead of it being, uh, you know, unsuspending and removing a security stack, uh, it's the opposite way around, essentially. So, pretty cool. And then Overflow minus four, so you lose four memory uh, if it does get removed, essentially. Then we also have the Metal Greymon, Metal Gururumon, even, sorry. Has the same requirement, level 5 Gurumon in its name for free cost. The counter effect, you already know this by now. When Digivolving, trash up to three cards from your hand. Gain one memory for each card trashed. Um, and then when attacking, once per turn. By trashing one of your opponent one card from your hand, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with the lowest level. Has overflow minus four. And these cards are very powerful, in my opinion. Um, the fact that you get to burst into essentially a free blocker and then also when it gets unsuspended 
Um, you get to then trash, uh, unsuspended again essentially if it gets trashed. So, yeah, very powerful, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's a cool mechanic, I think, which is what I'm learning here, but it's also a very worrying mechanic as well. Um, and then the, I think the Metal Gurumon is really good as well. I think the fact that you get to gain memory when you digivolve into something that is already free is kind of insane. So, I think people are going to be worried about that because it's kind of just like Ice Wall or uh, what is it, the other one, Hammer Spark, but on a Digimon instead. So, a bit worried about that. And then we've also just got some new ones in uh, from BT14. We've got Magna Angemon. Uh, get rid of this card, please. And then uh, Lilymon Ace as well. So, I'll go over those very quickly as well as they've just come in. Uh, the news is coming out as, I, as I'm doing the video. So, uh, hopefully, I'm not missing out anything. Uh, but Magna Angemon, same things, hand, counter, uh, on play and when digivolving, if you have five or fewer security cards, recovery plus one, then one of your Digimon, uh, post Digimon gets one, minus one K for each card in your security stack for the turn, so, god damn it, I have to deal with this card even more now, so hopefully normal Magda Angemon gets banned, uh, obviously has the ace overflow effect of minus three, and then Lilymon has uh, the same things essentially uh, on play when digivolving suspend one of your opponent's digimon then you may return one of your suspended digimon with 5k dp or less to the bottom of their deck um really good removal essentially and um as you can see like these effects are pretty good especially when you consider that they are free they are free effects essentially so uh, a bit worrying to say the least um but hopefully they're you know, the, the, the cut. I don't, I don't know what to think of them, quite frankly. Um, I like their idea of like, aha, we have interaction on your opponent's turn because that is something that the Digimon game doesn't have really, other than like blocker um, effects like Ice Wall, essentially. We don't have that much in this game. So seeing some interactivity on your opponent's turn is quite nice, but I'm just a bit worried that the power of these cards is too powerful. Um, we've seen in the past where like if you're able to digivolve into something for cheap or for free it becomes very powerful very quickly um, obviously all colors are getting these kind of cards um, so all of them got it the metal gr guru and the metal gray are black and purple and then we've got level fives for the other colors as well um, so obviously they're going to try and balance it out a little bit uh, but what do you guys think? Because I think at this point we, I, I, I want to see them in play essentially because kind of, you know, I want to I see how they function, um, how it changes the flow of the game essentially. So um, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below um, and I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.